it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a card combining several different Lawn Fawn sets. I'm using Seahorse and Around, Keep on Swimming, Party Animal, and Mermaid for You. And I've stamped out my images on some Copic friendly cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink so that I can color with my Copic markers. And I've also stamped out some coral in plastic flamingo ink from Lawn Fawn and some sea grasses in jalapeno and noble fur. So back to the coloring, I'm going to start with my seahorses. I'm going to make all three of them purple. I have the two larger ones from Seahorse and Around and then the little one is from Mermaid for You. So I'm using V04, V15, and V17 for those three. And I'm going to do a central light source. So the shadows are going to be along the back sides of their bodies and then also anywhere that would be cast in shadow. And then the lightest, the highlight area is going to be on the front of their body. So I'm only coloring one of the larger ones in the video for today because I did them both exactly the same. But I just started with that V17 on the back side of his body, like I said, since he's facing to the right, I did it on the left, and then blended out with the V15 and finished with the V04. And I did do a double layer just to intensify that contrast. So the second seahorse, I did exactly the same as I mentioned. I only reversed the light source. So his highlight is on the left, since that's the direction that he's facing. Now I did leave in the coloring for the little guy because I decided to mix it up a little bit. I wanted him to be just a slight shade lighter, so I added in the V01. I didn't skip any of the other colors. I went all the way from the v V17 through the V01, but um, because I have those four colors in there, um, he's just a little bit lighter and looks a little bit uh, softer. So for the ruffle of fins down their backs, I'm using BG45 and BG49. I used the BG49 real close to their bodies and then blended out with the BG45. And then for the little guy, I'm going to switch to the BG11 and BG13. I'm also going to use the BG13 and BG11 to color in the little gift, just the wrapping paper part of that. And I did do a double layer just to intensify that contrast once again. And then for the ribbon, I'm going to use RV13, RV14, and RV17. And this is going to give me a color that really matches well with that coral. I'm also going to color in my balloon with that color, um, or those shades, I should say. So I started with the RV17. Um, down on the bottom left and I'm blending towards the top right with the RV14 and then finishing with the RV13 and that's because I know that on my card I'm going to place that on the left hand side so I did my shadows on the left to match with the rest of my images. I'm restricting myself to a very limited bright color palette for today's card. I just thought it was really fun to use some bright punchy colors. So I'll be coloring the blowfish and the other fish both in yellows. I'm using Y13, Y15, and Y17. And for the blowfish, I did his shadows all the way around the perimeter of his body because he is facing completely forward. And then for the other fish, I'm doing it on the left hand side. So even though his face is facing forward, his tail is still curved to the left. So that's why I did the shadows on the left. I use V01 to add a little shading to the seashells. And I'm also going to do the little mouthpiece of the party horn. And then I blended all of those out with the V000. And then I used the matching dies to trim all of those out. I cut down a piece of white cardstock with the outside in stitch rectangle stackables, which is going to give me just a thin eighth of an inch border on all sides. And then I'm going to take the Lawn Fawn circle stackables and I'm going to die cut three circle windows, or in my case, they're going to be bubbles on my card so that I can have some images placed behind. 
So I'm going to tape those in place with some post-it note tape just to hold them in the correct position and run those through my cuddle bug. And then I can pop those out and save them for another project. And then I've got those three die cut windows. I've put those in my Misty and I just have that white panel sitting on top for placement so that I can stamp some bubbles from some of the different stamp sets into those little windows. And I'm using Lawn Fawn's Peacock ink for that. Then I'll go ahead and open up my card so I can stamp the inside as well while I'm at it. And I'm using the larger blowfish and then the sentiment that says, you blow me away and a little stream of heart bubbles. I'm also going to stamp out my sentiment for the front of the card um, right now. And I'm using some Versamark ink so that I can heat emboss a white sentiment onto some black cardstock. And I'm using the sentiment that says, I see it's your birthday. So I'm going to sprinkle some white embossing powder onto that, tap off the excess, and then I will grab my heat tool and just heat that up starting from the back and then moving to the front so that I can eliminate any warping and just heat that until all of that embossing powder is melted and shiny. I've added a liberal amount of foam tape to the back of that white panel so I can make sure that it is fully supported and I'm going to just peel off those release papers and then I'm going to line that up on my card front and I wanted it to start with the smaller bubble at the bottom just like the little um, trio of bubbles in each of the windows and then I wanted to show you how I did the little party hats because the party hats that came by themselves were too large for these images because these are uh, some of the smallest images in the little sets that um, I pulled them from with the exception of the seahorses because that was a mini set but those are usually typically smaller images to begin with anyway so I cut off the hats from the little birds in the party animal set since those hats were smaller and I just glued those on and then colored in the white part with a Copic marker to match the the rest of the image. So now I'm going to begin building my scenes in each of those three little windows. I'm going to be using a combination of liquid glue and foam tape so that I can have some depth and dimension. So I use the um, seagrass, I just laid that flat down and then I'm adding the fish with some foam tape in this smallest little window there. Then for the medium size one, I'm going to add the darker seagrass that I stamped with the noble fur. And then I'll take the shorter piece of coral and add that to the bottom. Then I'll take one of my seahorses, the one that is facing to the right, and I'm going to adhere him with foam tape right near those bubbles that are trailing upward. In the top bubble, I'm going to add the larger patch of seagrass over on the right, and then the taller coral on the left. And then the balloon I'm going to adhere kind of in the middle, so it kind of pulls your eye upward through the scene. I'm going to add the little blowfish in the top bubble, and also the other large seahorse, and the small one as well. I'm just gonna add that little guy over in the seagrasses. And then um, I'm going to just go ahead and add in a few of the accessory images. So I have the starfish kind of anchoring down the bottom of the balloon. The conch shell is going in the small window over by the seagrass. And then I have a little gift that I'm going to tuck under the edge of the balloon. And the little party horn is going in the blowfish's mouth. And then I have that tiny little um, clamshell that's also going right next to the present. And I just was fussing with that to get that perfectly placed. Now I'm going to adhere my sentiment. So I added a little piece of foam tape in the gap between the balloon string and the edge of that window. And then I'm just going to peel off that release paper. I've also got some foam tape where that sentiment is going to fall over that window and then just using regular liquid glue where it will be on the raised part of the white cardstock and I did have to move that little piece of foam tape just slightly and just lifted that a little bit higher 
and then I can adhere that sentiment. And I think that black and white sentiment really helps the rest of those colors pop. As a finishing touch, I'm going to take some crystal stickles and I'm going to add some here and there for some nice pops of bling on the card. So I added it to the um, starfish and the conch shell and to the, um, the darkest part, the shadowed part of the uh, seahorses and the fish and just making sure that I don't have it in any places that I don't want it there. Um, but I think it's fun since fish are scaly and that often shines underwater to just add those little bits of glitter on them. I also added it to the ribbon on the gift and to the balloon, just kind of here and there to make it really um, catch your eye, especially when you tip it into the light like I'm doing now. So that is going to complete my card for today. I'm going to give you another peek at the inside. And um, I really think this one turned out super bright and fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And I invite you to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to put up two extra under the sea themed videos. So if you'd like to keep on watching, you can do that. I think this kind of theme is so fun for summer cards. So I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Bye bye.